Are we ready? Hello out there in YouTube TV land. Who said I'm going to land on TV? Well, who knows? Oh, what do we have here? Well, this is part of Andrea's No So Throw Tie Blanket Adventure. And this is what can happen when you let procrastination get in the way. Anyway, <laughs> Last week in the, in the place that I worked, someone came in very frustrated because they wanted to make pajama pants. And I tried to explain that pajama pants are pajama pants. Doesn't matter what pattern, you McCall's, Butterick, Vogue, everybody's got pajama pants. But I don't like using patterns because they rip and then you've spent your money. Oh, make yourself comfortable, Toby. I'm not using that spot right now. Uh, this is my one of my able-bodied assistants, Mr. Toby Tarr. And he will be assisting me throughout the video, I'm sure. Yeah. The first thing you're going to want to have is a great pair of scissors. You don't have to bling them. I just have a malfunction going on and I have to bling everything. You should see my toilet seat. These are my favorites. These are gangers. Cost a lot of money, but man, no, 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 no. just get a coupon. <laughs> But if you're not ready for the gangers, but I'm telling you, they cut like butter. But these are my very favorite, so I don't always use them. Fiskas will do. These are Fiskas. These are your razor edge. That's what's different than the, well, the, the other ones are orange. It's still Fiskas, and they're still great. And look at that, I did it. I did it on my orange ones, and these are my other Fiskas. These are great, too, so either pair, you'll do great. Get a 50% coupon, and you'll just love your scissors forever, and have them sharpened regularly. Now, when I say no sew, throw, I don't mean it. <laughs> These are the kits that everybody's buying to make those tie blankets. Wonderful. You get one piece, which is solid, and one piece, which is printed. See, so for me, when I look at this, no sew, throw goes out the window because I have not yet made a tie blanket. What I like to make instead is pajamas. And this would be your 72 by 60 inch packet. They have the smaller packet, so depending on how teeny you are or how large you are, I say anything can be cut down, so get the big one, 72 by 60 inch. If they're not on sale, once again I say, coupon, coupon, coupon. All right, so this is what we're gonna be doing in this segment. When I began this adventure, this was the printed one. <laughs> and it did actually have purple as the solid, but I kind of slept my way through those, so that's full of holes. And I just bought two yards, which is 72 inches. Remember, there's 72, 72 inches in the no sew packet. And I just got another packet and made myself a yellow pair to match. Yep. And these, again, they're not no sew, but it's one piece, one pattern that you can make yourself. So here are my fabulous pajamas, which I had enough in that no sew package to make a hood and pockets to match. Got to have your pockets, girls, you know, for all that money and chewing gum and chocolate. Okay. Now, as my assistant has already showed you, you might want to put a sheet or something, a large piece of fabric on the floor. If you don't want to use your carpeting, you know, and you want to invite all the animals to help out, they will gladly keep it flat for you. If you don't have a big cutting table or a big counter surface you can use, we can certainly use the floor. And Toby is showing you how wonderful a surface that is. Uh, <laughs> and he has no idea or could care less what I'm saying. Now, this is my pattern. You say that looks a little familiar. Ooh, there's a pocket. That's because someone gave me a rather large pair of jeans. Really, I promise you, I never ate my way into these jeans. And I carried them around and carried around, and I thought, ooh, I'd like to make some pajama pants. So I got a pair of, so I took these jeans. I dutifully cut the whole waistband off. That was my first deal. Cut the whole waistband off. Yep, right through the zipper. And then I ripped out all the seams. Guessing by the pocket, this was the front. 
So I took out the zipper, carefully plucked out the zipper, tossed that away. I probably used it on a pocketbook or something. And then there was the inseam, which is the part that goes that way. And just a note, you'll come back to this note later. The front, the front is always shorter than the back because once you sew this together, well, hello, Noah, here's one of my other assistants. He, uh, he'll probably join Toby. Nice clean service, they have to test it out, you know. Appreciate that, you'll get a raise next week. The back, see how much longer the back is? Now when you look at these, they look huge. Don't let your ego get involved, forget about it. These are pajama pants, you want some room. So this is all you need to make a pair of pajama pants. The side seam is the only seam I did not take apart because once you make your item, that won't be there. Now, sir, excuse, excuse me, um, dog, That is another assistant I have, the, the hand, which you will be seeing in the uh, video. Yes, she's trying to convince him that there's another nice place to lay. And now this one wants to, that's the wrong end, honey. Okay, now, you will lay your pants down this way. All right? I will show you on the note, well, why don't I show you? Okay, so in this case, we're going to use the solid. I like to use the solid because one thing holds true for putting prints and things on your hiney, make it look be bigger, even when they're in pajamas. Okay, so this is out of the No So 72 inch packet. All right, you'll want to fold it the long way, that's to keep the two rolled edges next to each other. Excuse me. And the raw end on the side here. Here, go lay under that. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And they're pretty already looks like pajamas to me. Okay. Now what you will note here is you can use pins. Me, I'm so darn lazy. I just don't get their pajamas. I'm sleeping in them. Okay. And here's my pattern. Now, I could just do that. <laughs> See, you lay another clean surface down, the assistant wants to join it. I could just cut it like that. But I want to maximize the fabric that I have because when I make my top, I might want to have enough for a hood and who knows what else. That is a big piece. Now, no pins. I'm going to take my pin. I have enough to cut. Either side, you want to cut slightly outside of what we now call our pattern. These are my gingers. I'm not going to get on the floor with it. And all of that is for the length because anything can be cut down or you can end up rolling them up. So the pants are going to be very long, which you want because you can cut them down if you want. If I cut them too short, I might have to add a cup. That's another video. So, you leave room for your waistband. Doo -doo 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 -doo. See, no measuring. La 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 la, la la la, la la la, and just cut that and be done with it. Get it out of your way. Done. That'll be the hood, I guess. And then we kind of want to give it, I say, a half inch away from your pattern. And I'm trying not to cut our uh, cutting board here, which is a sheet lent to me by a very good friend. I suppose she might want to sleep on it again. I don't know. And you get over here and give yourself a room because, and again, even if you make a mistake, if you give yourself a little room for that mistake, anything can be cut down. See, if I made a mistake the other way, then I'd be whining. Okay? Keep it straight from there. Boop. Look at all this fabric. There we go. Alright. Same thing here. Let's cut a little bit outside there. This is the back. Okay. Another reason why I like fleece because it's very forgiving. That's pajamas or whatever you want to make. Okay, cut the hole just so you... There we go. So I cut a new point. Da, 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 da. Right down there. 
And then look at all this fabric. I might have to make a doggy coat. What do you think, Toby? Okay. There is enough to make a doggy coat just in case you're interested. And there, my pants are made. So I'm gonna hmm, give you this next piece of uh, the lesson and then we'll uh, switch gears so I can get to the sewing part. But I will say to you that all, the only sewing going on here will be here, here, and we'll fold this over to make our waistband inside which we will either put elastic or a drawstring. So that is the end of this part of Andrea's No So Throw Adventure. Please come on back and join me. I, I gotta go have some chocolate and some coffee right now, but it's gonna be fun. Hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. Thanks for watching.